Well, there is a big fight in Paris. It is one legendary brand versus one legendary deal maker. French tycoon Bernard Arnault is the fourth richest man in the world. He sits atop the luxury conglomerate LVMH. He has his sight set on the family control brand Hermes. Carol Matlock is joining us now. She has been covering the saga from Paris for Bloomberg Business Week. Carol, thanks so much for joining us. We're glad to have you with us. You write in this article, this is a great description of Alno being a wolf in cashmere. What is it about his reputation for getting involved in family-run businesses and tearing them apart? Well, the wolf in cashmere terminology was used by the Hermes family themselves, and I think it makes reference to the fact that over the years, Bernard Arnault has amassed a very large portfolio of luxury brands and very often has done this by getting inside family companies and uh, soon afterwards the, the family members are, are seem to be sort of at each other's throats and then uh, it seems he like ends he, up with the company and that happened. Some family members seats on the board and not others and, and tends to kind of encourage discord. In this way, it seems like Alno is pretty motivated to control or at least to not be a passive investor in Hermes. But the way that he got his stake was uh, a little sneaky, right? Well, I, I, the way he did it was that he bought some shares quite some number of years ago, but kept the number of shares below the threshold that would have required him to report it publicly. And at the same time, uh, he uh, acquired some equity swaps, which were structured in such a way that he also didn't have to disclose them. And then uh, very quickly, over a period of a couple days last fall, he transformed those swaps into Hermes shares so that within a matter of uh, a couple of weeks, uh, he became a 20 percent shareholder in the company. And that's why the family's so upset. You mentioned his stake. The family has about a 72 percent stake. It's worth upwards of $16 billion. And the family is now fighting back, right? They're trying to kind of construct uh, a structure so that they keep it very tight tightly controlled. Are they going to be successful? Well, that remains to be seen. For the moment, they have very, very tight control. They have locked up 50.2 percent of the shares in a structure uh, that won't allow any of those shares to be released without a 75 percent vote of the family. And um, at the same time, under the, the way the company is set up under French law, they have absolute control over board seats. So even if somehow Bernard Arnault could, could amass 49.99 percent, he couldn't even get a board seat. Carol, we thank you so much. Carol Matlack joining us there from Paris. She is a Bloomberg Business Week correspondent, and you can read this entire article and many others. There's the cover of our Bloomberg Business Week for this week, and the story is inside.